Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video. So, I saw this other channel that was reacting to these videos, and I found it interesting. So, we are watching the Untold History Muslims in Slavery, or, well, actually, that's the wrong one. Oh, it's this one right here. <laughs> the Arab Muslim Slave Trade of Africans, the Untold Story. So, here we go. I must admit that I, too, among hundreds of millions of educated people, was under the impression that the African slave trade was the sole responsibility of the Christian Europeans, the white race. That is, until I started exploring the subject in greater depth, and especially after reading an incredibly enlightening book called The Legacy of Arab Islam in Africa by John Alambilla Azuma. My whole perspective and understanding has changed dramatically, and I would like you to tell us more about this subject. The success of Muhammadan Islam in deceiving, misinforming, deforming, and contorting both history and reality over a period of almost 1400 years has been astounding. That is, until now. The greatest strategy about this particular subject is that most of the descendants of African slavery, the black people in the Americas, around the world, as well as among the African blacks, are totally ignorant of the actual facts. Before we lose the concentration of our listeners, I would like to make the following statement and then prove it. That the worst, most inhumane and most diabolical institution of the black African slave trade was initiated, refined, perpetrated and implemented by the Mohammedan Arabs and later aided and abetted by the black converts to Mohammedan Islam. I predict that as usual, the two subcultures, those of denial of facts and of political correctness, will attack us without once disproving a single statement and or conclusion that we make. Slavery was not created by the white races, because it has existed throughout human history and practiced by every tribe. Which, which I, I figured, like I, I kind of understood that whites were not the ones that created slavery and that like blacks weren't the only ones that were slaves so I understand that but the fact that the facts have been hidden that slavery was also benefited by Africans as well as well as like Muslims that, that's not really told to you in the history books culture, civilization, racial group and religion in fact the very word slavery has its root in the name Slav, based upon the Slavic peoples of Europe who were subjugated by other Europeans. It is not common knowledge that the Arabic word Abd is synonymous with the meaning of slave. For example, Abdullah means literally the slave of Allah, and that in the language of the Arabs, all black peoples are called Abid, plural, for slaves. While much has been written concerning the transatlantic slave trade, Surprisingly, little attention has been paid to the Islamic slave trade across the Sahara, the Red Sea, and the Indian Ocean. While the European involvement in the African transatlantic slave trade to the Americas lasted for just over three centuries, the Arab involvement in the African slave trade has lasted 14 centuries. And in some parts of the Mohammedan world... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, you're telling me that the European slave trade, the European transatlantic slave trade only lasted three centuries, 300 years. And the Muslims that enslaved Africans, that lasted 14 centuries. Wow. And Africans had involvement because they probably sold slaves to them too. <laughs> What the hell? Why don't they why don't they put these in the history books? I wonder why. <laughs> Fourteen centuries, bro, that is bro, that bro. There's that's, so much stuff they're leaving out. That's how many years is that? Fourteen bro. That's fourteen is that fourteen hundred years? Yeah. Bro. No, not fourteen hundred. Yeah, fourteen hundred. That's tough. That's tough world is still continuing to this day bro the birth bro, bro that, that's a thousand years in 400 yeah. that that's 1400 years 
of Mohammedan Islam and its conquests brought about the birth of institutionalized, systematized, and religiously sanctioned slave trade on a massive and global scale. In fact, the Quran allows the taking of slaves as booty or reward for wars of aggression against any and all unbelievers, most of the human population. This has led to an enormous number of so-called holy wars, jihad in Arabic. There was and is absolutely nothing holy about these wars which are primarily to plunder, slaughter, rape, subjugate and rob other human beings of their wealth, produce, freedom and dignity. Mohammedan Muslim states and tribes attacked other non-Muslim groups to achieve these objectives. Although Islamic jurisprudence laid down regulations for the treatment of slaves, however, incredible and heinous abuses have occurred throughout the history of Muhammadan Islam. By the Middle Ages, the Arab Arabic word Abid was in general used to denote a black slave, while the word Mamluk referred to a white slave. Ibn Khal incredible and heinous abuses have occurred throughout the history of Muhammadan Islam. By the Middle Ages, the Arab Arabic word Abid was in general used to denote a black slave, while the word Mamluk referred to a white slave. Ibn Khaldun, 1332-1406, the preeminent Islamic medieval historian... Wait, so wait, 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 whoa. So the Muslims enslaved the whites and blacks at the same time, basically. So they it wasn't really, like racial part it was just more of they were slaving people because like for benefits right to rob them of their dignity freedom and produce That's and, and social thinker wrote the negro nations are as a rule submissive to slavery because they have attributes that are quite similar to dumb animals it should also be noted submissive okay. to slavery a medieval okay. historian and social thinker wrote the Negro nations are, as a rule, submissive to slavery because they have attributes that are quite similar to dumb animals. It should also be noted... That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> what? They have attributes to dumb animals. That's terrible. That is so terrible. They're basically saying they don't know how to eat with their hands. Or whatever, yeah. Like what? Or they do whatever people say. It doesn't make any sense. That... Well, yeah, they do whatever people say so they can, like, live. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody does. Everyone follows rules. So I don't, they say it's submissive. Like, okay, if they're trying to say submissive as in, like, they don't fight back, I don't know if that's true or not because I heard a, a lot of slaves die from fighting back. I mean, I'm just trying to understand. This, that's crazy. And to say you have attributes to dumb animals. Would I be able to make a video and use a camera and st the crazy part is when they say that it's like okay but you bought slaves from African leaders so you think the people you buying the slaves from are dumb animals that, that throws me off that black slaves were castrated based on the assumption that the blacks had an ungovernable sexual appetite when the Fatimid Caliphate came to power in Egypt they slaughtered all the tens of thousands of black military slaves and raised an entirely new slave army. Some of these slaves were conscripted into the army at age 10. From Persia to Egypt to Morocco, slave armies from 30,000 to up to 250,000 became commonplace. The Islamic slave trade took place across the Sahara Desert, from the coast of the Red Sea and from East Africa across the Indian Ocean. The Trans-Sahara trade... So there was an Islamic slave trade before the transatlantic slave trade, which was mostly Europeans trading slaves. So this was the Trans-Sahara trade, basically. <laughs> but it's like, it was all types of slaves, right? So it wasn't just Africans, but mostly it was still Africans. But there was whites, different races in there in between. Okay. So were, did they see white people as dumb animals? It doesn't even make sense. So you both... 
trade was conducted along six major slave routes just in the 19th century, for which we have more accurate records, 1.2 million slaves were brought across the Sahara into the Middle East, as well as a further 450,000 down the Red Sea and 442,000 from the East African coastal ports. That is a total of 2 million black slaves just in the 1800s. At least 8 million more were calculated to have died before reaching the Muslim slave markets. A comparison of the Islamic slave trade to the American slave trade reveals some extremely interesting contrasts. While two out of every three slaves shipped across the Atlantic were men, the proportions were reversed in the Islamic slave trade. Two women for every man were enslaved by the Muslims. While the mortality rate of slaves being transported across the Atlantic was as high as 10%, the percentage of slaves dying in transit in the Trans-Sahara and East African slave market was a staggering 80 to 90 percent. While almost all the slaves shipped across the Atlantic were for agricultural work, most of the slaves destined for the Muslim Middle East were for sexual exploitation as concubines in harems and for military service. While many children were born to the slaves in the Americas, the millions of their descendants are citizens in Brazil and the United States of today, very few descendants of the slaves that ended up in the Middle East survive. While most slaves who went to the... Basically saying that most of the slaves that, that were African, most of them, like basically most of them did not survive the Middle East once they were shipped over to other places. They died before even being able to get there, maybe because of the brutality. The Americas could marry and have families. Most of the male slaves destined for the Middle East were castrated and most of the children born to the women were killed at birth. It is estimated that possibly as many as 11 million Africans were transported across the Atlantic, 95% of which went to South and Central America, mainly to Portuguese, Spanish and French possessions. Only 5% of the slaves ended up in what we call the United States today. However, a minimum of 28 million Africans were enslaved in the Muslim Middle East. Since at least 80% of those captured by Muslim slave traders were calculated to have died before reaching the slave markets, it is believed that the death toll from 1400 years of Arab and Muslim slave raids into Africa could have been as high as 112 millions. When added to the number of those sold in... 112 million... African slaves could have died in that. That's crazy. That's just that's beyond me. That's that is insane. That's, bro. that's crazy. wow. That's tough. That's tough. Why? Bruh. Like, why were they sitting here and enslave, like, sorry, enslaving people? Well, it, it makes sense. So they've been in. Like, all right, so there was a time when Africans ruled and they enslaved. There was a time when um, Arabs ruled, they enslaved. Right now, it's Europeans mostly that rule the world at this very moment. Um, and it's probably one of the best times in history in terms of tech technological uh, advancement and stuff like that. But even they built their country off slavery. So slavery has been around for a long time. I think that the slavery we recently had though was the quickest it ever ended though I mean and it was the most sympathy that it was involved if any time it could have been it actually could have been worse when you think about it compared to all the other times in history none of it is right though none of it is right I wish none of it had happened but it did you know um, but this gives you a good I mean I think that everyone's pointing fingers but they don't understand that they all created their own problems. Slavery's been around since the beginning of mankind. And yeah. every human race or what different type of race or whatever has had their chance to rule and exert their power. Um, all I can say is um, there's still things that's wrong with the world today and not just slavery or just discrimination and treating people wrong, but 
you know, that right now, I feel like the biggest problem right now for humanity is wealth disparity. Uh, people not having enough money to eat. It's more so like now people push you out using their pen and paper and checks versus not doing anything bad to you. Like they're not hurting you, but when it comes to, but but when it comes to like money, like right now, it's all about pushing you out of a neighborhood and up in the rent so you can't afford it. So you can get out and they can put these people in there. They can actually make more money and afford it. It's like all of right now. It's all about, economic value versus um well it's always been about economic value but now it's it's economic value based on if you if you got something and automation and stuff like that that's like why would give you a job when we don't need to pay you if we got robots that can do it so there's always going to be problems you know what i'm saying so it you know right now you know the robots going to be the new slaves and like they said, one day they could end up with their own mind, and we could they could enslave us. Like it's crazy, bro. Like it's just like we're all just we all just fucked up, honestly. We yeah. all just <laughs> yeah. Words out we, of my mouth. We basically just all fucked up. We we all fucked. We're up. fucked up and we fucked up we at the same up. time. We're fucked up and we fucked up. We fucked up. Automation, we, robots. We fucked up. And, and we already messing up our planet. And we gotta drill oil and. Hopefully that'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so many, so many oh freaking God. animals, species of animals died and went existed because of that whole. Going oil into the freaking ground, shit. It is what it is. Though. The slave markets, the total number of African victims of the Trans Saharan and East African slave trade could be significantly higher than 140 million people. What is obscene about this whole subject is the Mohammedan Muslim and Arab culture of denial regarding their complicity in the African slave trade as well as the ignorance of black Muslims about the reality of their past and present conditions. So basically, Arabs like to deny that they had any involvement because <laughs> white people are taking all the, the fault for it because they were like the last late, the last major like slave trade. So And they ended it so quickly. And then them, they didn't get any hate or they don't, no one fucks with the Arabs because well, everyone just thinks they're terrorists. But they're actually even they're probably even worse than that not saying that they're bad all Arabs are bad people I'm not saying that I'm just saying that's how the world looks at certain that's how groups. America looks yeah at. that's how America looks at it anyway but that's crazy the statistics and reports above are based and upon it's actually true he's actually true about that blacks are actually very ignorant to the fact that they want to believe that they, they really do want to believe that only white people have done this all these bad things. And I understand that because they lived in a country where they literally were treated like shit by these people of an opposite race or color or genetic type, genotype. So I understand that they can't believe it was it could have been anybody else when they only saw this group fuck with them. So I get that, but they can be ignorant to the fact that it's true. Africans benefited from the slave, the transatlantic slave trade, period. They sold their slaves. Not to say any of it, all of it's bad though. You know, it's all bad. It's all, we all fucked up, man. We all fucked up. We like to point the fingers and say, well, the white man did this, hold us down. And it's probably true. It's, it's true. It's happened. It's happened. But at the same time, like, there's a lot of other issues, too. And it's just, it's really hard. You know, people can't deny the past. They can't deny the truth. You know, um, like, if I lived about maybe, I don't know, about 40, 50, like, 60 years ago, things would be very different for me. But I live in a different time, so... I don't care, but it's, it is, yeah, it is, you know, but it's crazy, man, like, it's insane, bro, this is, it's tough, it's tough, (laughs) 
Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. From the logbooks kept at the African slave port. The reality of Muhammadan Islam's complicity in the slave trade and their inhuman depravity are infinitely more devastating, more staggering, and more incomprehensible than all the nightmare fictions in the world. That's crazy. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, and peace.